Hello there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. Welcome back to another fragrance related review. And today we are going to talk about a fragrance from the house of Asan Oud. This is the Lux Oud and this is the you know, perfume version. Uh, we've done the uh, other one, which is the Lux Oud fragrance oil uh, version sometime back and uh, this is here. Uh, in case you want to do uh, know about this particular fragrance or the oil and a detailed review is available on the channel. I'll kind of put the link for that. So today was my daughter's uh, school orientation day. She kind of steps into school and this was the attire and the scent of the day was of course Prestige Arabia Citrus Oud which is a very beautiful blend for an occasion like that kind of get you uh, you know heads turning right. But we'll keep that away and let me know what is your SOTD for the day and and today we're going to talk about this particular fragrance, like I said, Lux Oud from the house of Asan Oud. Why I think this is an excellent fragrance from India and you know we should kind of you know think about getting a beautiful ambery goodness from this particular fragrance. So all about it on this video, you're watching the perfume experience. My name is Rodney. Let's get going right after this intro. All right, welcome back. And first things first, the humidity has gone back up again. So Bangalore is back to being warm and hot and sticky. So kind of, you know, gets very difficult to do these videos with a lot of lights closed and uh, sorry, windows closed and with a lot of lights and, you know, with one fan sticking at you. Uh, not so great, but nonetheless, we've got to do things what we have to do, which we love for fragrances. So we're going to talk about today Lux Oud from the house of Asan Oud. And like I said, in case you would want to kind of, you know, uh, consider getting the fragrance oil, there's a dedicated review about this as well that you can think about that. But We'll talk about the packing. He's got a whole new packing now, which comes in this kind of, uh, you know, white color box, which was there previously as well. But there is a whole lot of motifs that you see with Asan Hood now, which makes it very uh, appealing and gives it that luxurious touch. At the back, it talks about Lux Hood and the price and all of that. Uh, this is a sleeve. You can kind of, you know, pull the sleeve away to disclose the box itself. And the box is uh, the same old box, which has got this white leather kind of a skin and the, you know, fragrance kind of sits here like this. There's a bit of writing that you kind of get uh, on the you know box which is uh, kind of placed inside this somewhere uh, you know so I'll keep this aside but let's talk about the fragrance itself okay so it's a similar type of a bottle that we've had uh, in the past uh, all of the other fragrances kind of in a come in a similar bottle like this which is this golden beauty kind of an ambery uh, lovely liquid right now let's do a quick spray because you do not want to put this on your apparel you've got to be careful about that uh, let's do a couple of sprays and you kind of get blown away straight away because this is kind of created by a very, uh, you know, a big master perfumer. I'm talking about Christian Provenzano is the creator behind this particular fragrance and the oil as well. Now, what he has done is he has taken the DNA of, uh, you know, the typical Middle Eastern fragrances that Asan Oud is popular for and is kind of, you know, taken it up one notch higher. Okay, and if you don't know about Christian Provenzano, he's the same master perfumer who has done fragrances like Blue Sapphire from the House of Bodesia and many other fragrances, a whole lot of niche fragrances. In fact, even niche as a brand kind of, you know, I think I signed him up for some fragrances as well. So it's very nice to see that Indian uh, perfumery is kind of going really, really up with, you know, a lot of international perfumers coming into India and creating fragrances for Indian perfumery houses, which is a big deal, right? Now let's talk about this particular fragrance. So what do you kind of get? right now judging by the color you obviously know it's got a lot of amber element to it definitely yes but the fragrance opens up with a good amount of honey and rose and a very different element to add in the top note a lemon okay so there is a, that bittersweet opening that you kind of get because of that honey and rose and along with that you know um, the lemon that gives a very different kind of a citrusy uh, but at the same time a thick golden uh, type of a syrup kind of a opening but not sweet at all but very amber in its uh, nature. Now in the heart notes there are a lot of elements but also in the you know dry down there's this lovely element of Cambodian oud which plays a very important role in this particular fragrance. Now in the base along with the Cambodian oud you also have patchouli as well you also have a bit of labdanum to give you that entire thick base of a nice powdery woody kind of tone. Now this is supported very well by the mid tones where you have leather you have geranium and your pink pepper. So you do know that there is a bit of a spicy element that's coming in the heart notes and like I said the top notes has got this beautiful amount of saffron I basically got honey and of course lemon okay so it's a very beautiful concussion so somewhere you kind of you know feel that you have a bit of a rose 
is playing at the back or at the right at the top but it's mostly the mixture of saffron and honey coming together to give you that beautiful vibe right now the smell is of this particular fragrance is a ambery you know a uh, spicy kind of opening with a good amount of woody touch to it and the dry down that you kind of get is a very woody oud type of a dry down now the fragrance has got a good amount of soft projection i would say about 2 to 1 and a half feet of projection is what you will get it kind of you know uh, lasts in its opening for about 45 minutes to 1 hour it kind of you know projects very nicely and after that it starts to change its tones and starts getting into the oud in the fragrance now the oud here has got two type of oud there is your typical oud and there is of course the cambodian oud now cambodian oud is a little sweeter milder in nature so that's what this particular fragrance brings you've, you've got that creamy texture very beautiful that's going for it very nice and because there is leather to it the leather brings that a little bit of that animalic vibe that you would want so the fragrance is mostly cut cutting across through an ambery type of a goodness is how i would kind of describe it in one sentence now this is in the same lines of these other fragrances like golden oud and silver oud and of course amber oud i feel this is more in line with the amber oud uh, you know signature se uh, scent profile of this particular fragrance where you have this typical middle eastern type of a vibe coming into the fragrance now what christian provenzano as a master perfumer has done here is that he's taken these thick notes okay the dense notes of oud leather uh, pink pepper spicy elements like geranium and honey as well and given it a very light airy kind of a vibe okay now unlike the other fragrances this does not feel dense in the air it feels very light very beautifully very well done very blended you would say very uh, you know very well rounded as a fragrance so that lightness that airiness that is there that's a big surprise for me because generally all of his fragrances have been more thick more you know um, uh, dominant darker kind of way this is very good that way as an ambery fragrance but it's very light in the air because of which the fragrance also has got a soft kind of a projection that i was talking about now in terms of lasting after the one one and a half hours time it starts to go down it starts to mellow down into the oud it starts to go down into the uh, dry down where you have this patchouli which is earthy and of course the oud which is very mellow and not creamy but not animalic at all so that way what happens after about 6 hours on skin it becomes a little closer to skin in terms of a woody nature and on apparels you will easily get about 7 to 8 hours where it's really a kind of a woody kind of a oud kind of a fragrance now another element that i must talk about is the inclusion of oud in this particular fragrance the oud is very high quality and you can clearly make it out because the uh, quality of the ingredients is super high and i uh, you know i must appreciate asan uh, oud for making a fragrance like this from india which kind of smells like to be very honest on the levels of some niche fragrances from the middle east like amwaj or so you know where the oud quality is so high that's what you kind of get in this particular fragrance it's very very elegant that way now having spoken about the quality of ingredients let's talk about uh, what are the occasions or where do you will wear this and how will you be get compliments now when it comes to compliments i feel for a fragrance like this it is going to be an acquired taste okay why acquired taste because it is amber in nature it has got oud at the opening it's got saffron but there is no sweetness it's mostly a ambery woody spicy kind of a fragrance with a good amount of bitter sweet opening because of that lemon and that's the unique element here so it's a very uh, you know unique signature uh, scent that requires special attention so from a fellow fraghead or from people who pursue high end fragrances fragrances uh, you know that are not your typical designer types those people will definitely acknowledge what you're wearing and will appreciate you for something like this and can get you uh, you know compliments uh, uh, in other other than that normal people might not be able to connect to this particular fragrance as you would want to okay so that is something that we'll have to definitely consider as as a fragrance of this particular uh, type now occasions to wear of course this is a fragrance that i would associate myself wearing it for celebrations like weddings uh, like you know uh, parties where not the disco type of parties but gatherings where you are where there are social gatherings uh, especially like uh, occasions where there are dances that kind of thing that you would definitely be able to wear not a clubbing type of a fragrance of course but more masculine more matured kind of a fragrance this is well suited for um, you know i would say in the 30 plus category of men uh, maybe businessmen maybe uh, you know your mature fragrance that you would kind of want to wear uh, where you want to show yourself that you've grown up something like that is i think it would suit very well 
Although this is a unisex fragrance and I think both of you can carry it well, I would say that it leans a little more towards men and rather a little less on women. Okay, So definitely evening wear, absolutely. You can wear it in the day wear as long as you're indoors, you're in a large banquet hall, you're attending a wedding, you're being part of large celebrations or you're the center of attraction. Yes, then this is a fragrance rightfully made for you and Christian Provenzano as definitely made something very classy very unique as a scent profile i would like to say right now you can kind of get this from the website of asanood uh, i think a 50 ml cost about two and a half thousand rupees so you can definitely check it i'll drop in a link for you to you know from the description where you can get it as well but on the whole this is a classy fragrance to try when you compare the oil version and the spray version uh, the primary elegance is even the uh, oil version i found it is very light in the air though being an oil concentration so obviously last will be a little more this i feel is very airy very beautifully done and you should definitely consider this and i kind of you know like uh, you know reviewing fragrances like uh, asanud because it kind of makes you feel that yes perfumery industry is definitely growing high and with the inclusion of uh, top quality ingredients like you know the ones that are used in this particular fragrance it really feels something special that you're wearing for a special occasion right so yes uh, you can definitely consider getting this for a special occasion and it's one of those oud fragrances that i would say you should definitely try if you want to try and uh, understand how a real oud fragrance smells like you can definitely consider getting this from the house of asanut called laksud so if you kind of like the video if you like the video review that i'm bringing to you if you like the content that i'm bringing to you please hit the like button subscribe and share and i will see you on another one until another time take care bye now